Well, I'm back at it again, giving it another try. Good morning, guys. It is uh, Tuesday morning, the 17th of October. So uh, today we are 12 days out from the race. And um, today I'm gonna do my very last uh, interval session and I'm going to go back and do the, the interval session that I did four weeks ago, which was to do a 4K uh, warm-up, nice and slow. Stop, do some stretches, do some uh, more warming up just to make sure I'm really limber. And then get into this uh, eight kilometers with uh, four, four of those kilometers really fast, maybe four minutes 30 uh, per kilometer pace. So one fast, one slow, one fast, one slow. So I'm a bit freaked out because I just really don't want to injure myself so close to the race. So I've got to take it easy, but we'll see how I go this time compared to last time four weeks ago. We'll see whether I've made some progress in my fitness. Well, there we go. I finished my uh, 4K run, uh, warm up, and now I'm going to launch into this uh, eight kilometers of one kilometer fast, one kilometer slow. Let's see how I go. Well, there we go all done 12 k's in total with uh, an 8k basically uh, interval session one kilometer one kilometer fast one kilometer slow felt pretty good let's uh, have a look at the Strava data okay guys let's have a look at this workout so um, ran the first I did a four kilometer warm-up uh, before and then the first kilometer ran it at uh, 4.29 pace. Second kilometer, 6.26, quite a bit slower. The third kilometer, 4 minutes 30. Then the fourth kilometer, another recovery kilometer uh, jogging. Uh, the fifth kilometer ran at probably about 10 seconds per, uh, I would have preferred to do it in about 4 minutes 40 per kilometer, but it didn't matter. Uh, then run the six kilometer, uh, six minutes thirty, and then run ran the uh, seventh kilometer at uh, four forty two, and then ran uphill uh, the rest of the way uh, up this uh, up this hill here, um, the rest of the way nine minutes uh, thirty three. So nothing special about the fast kilometers. They were about the same as what I did four weeks ago around. 4 minutes 30, 4 minutes 30, 4 minutes 40, that sort of thing. But what was uh, amazing about this is my recovery because my recovery uh, kilometers the last time around were all much more like 8 minute uh, per kilometer pace, 8 minutes, 8 minutes, and then like 11 minutes at the end. So, yeah, my ability to recover is really the thing that stands out about this workout that uh, I was able to to still uh, keep up a reasonable jogging pace of 626, 627, 631 uh, on, on the recovery case and then get back into these faster ones in between. So all in all, I was really happy with that workout. Good morning, it's a uh, Wednesday morning. I'm gonna give these uh, chin-ups a go again. Uh, so actually today, after yesterday's interval session, yeah, I'm feeling pretty sore in the legs, but nothing like uh, four weeks ago. So um, my ability to recover has definitely improved a lot. So um, today I'll just do these, and maybe tomorrow, uh, tomorrow evening after finishing work, I'll, uh, I'll do a run home, see how that goes. Have a good day. Hey, so um, I'm gonna do another run home tonight, get in seven Ks for the week. Uh, I hate this run, it's all uphill, but it's good training. Okay, almost finished. 
I ran a pretty fast, pretty fast tonight. Might be my best time for my run home. I think my best time before was like 44 minutes or 43 minutes. We'll see what I did tonight. <sighs> Last hill and I'm home. Yeah. Yeah. Hey guys, it's a Saturday morning, uh, the 21st of October, and I just finished my little 6k loop. Nice and slow and easy. Um, I've had a bit of a sore hip flexor, my left uh, hip flexor just uh, just in here uh, where I lift my leg that muscle in there it's been a bit sore the last uh, few days but um, it didn't bother me uh, on the run today so it's good news anyway shower and off to work ciao <laughs> this is the guy next to me who can like crank out 30 chin-ups or pull-ups I can barely do five pathetic Salut! Donc, euh, nous sommes dimanche et c'est une semaine euh, jusque le Marseille Cassis maintenant. Donc, euh, c'est ma dernière longue sortie. Je vais faire 12 km et euh, doucement. <rire> So I'm finished for the week. That's 37 kilometers. Yeah. 37,000 uh, turns or spins from Elliot. How many spins have you done? 160,000. 160,000. That's a lot. Salmon is brains. Mm -hmm. So we can. Mm, brains. Mm. All right, guys, let's have a look at this week on uh, Strava. So, uh, got out for doing, got out to, <laughs> on the way to work to do chin ups uh, probably about three or four times during the week. So, um, definitely doing a little bit of uh, upper body work as well. Sort of got out there on Monday and I think Wednesday and Friday. So, um, on Tuesday, did this uh, the, these two runs did the four kilometer warm up nice and slow seven minute per kilometer pace and then got into these intervals so that was a really good workout and uh, the next day I, I was really not feeling uh, uh, too uh, too shattered in the legs uh, like I did the first time I did that workout so my ability to recover so much better I'm really happy about that then on Thursday got out and did this uh, run home it's a run with um, you know 157 meters of climbing it's pretty much all uphill and I did my best time uh, for that run of over one minute faster than I've ever done before so my fitness is really um, really taking on a new level uh, then I got out on what was that Thursday Friday Saturday and did uh, a little 6k run nice and easy and then on Sunday, did my final 
a long run before the race, 12 k's, uh, nice and slow. But what was good about the week, did the um, 37 kilometers that I wanted to accomplish, but also uh, 900 meters of climbing. So pretty close to the 1,000 meters of climbing that I've been doing every week anyway. So really happy. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Run with me. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>